All right, so we are at the end of our uh, topic for trigonometry and further trigonometry. Uh, the last topic that you might get in your examination is area of a triangle. So area of the triangle, we've already figured out how we find out the area of a triangle, right? So if the triangle is given to you somewhat like this, this is 90 degrees, this is given to you as let's suppose 10, this is given to you as let's suppose 12, 90 degrees given to you. So what will you do? The formula for triangle that we already know is half into base into height. So half into base is given to you as 12 and height is given to you as 10. This becomes 5, this becomes 1. So th this becomes 60 if I'm not wrong. So 60 centimeters is the area for this triangle. But in further trigonometry, as we discussed, things are not that simple. And over here, you will be given irregular triangles where 90 degrees is not given to you, right? So again, let's take A, B, C, This side is given to you as let's say 30 degrees. B is given to you as let's say 22. And A is given to you as let's say 12. So these two sides are given to you. This side C is not given to you. Let's try this. So the formula for area of a triangle is in trigonometry area of triangle equals to half a b sine of c so half a b sine c is the formula that is given to you so let's try this formula according to the question mentioned above so half this side is a this side is b so half into 12 into 22 sine of 30 so 2, 6, so 22 times 6 is 132, so 132 sine 30, what is sine 30, let's find that out, sine, one, sine 30 is given to us as 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 times 132 gives you 66. So 66 is centimeters square, obviously, because both of them were in centimeters. This was also centimeters, this was also centimeters. So 66 centimeters square is the area for, or area of, the, of this triangle that is given to you, right? So this is your area, okay. This question was made by me, so this was very simple and uh, obviously I'm the teacher, I can do simple questions, which is fine. But let's try to do a bit of uh, more difficult questions that might come in the examination later on, right? So I have a few questions over here. There are two kind of questions that might come, so let's try this, let's work that out. So I'll do one question as this. And uh, I'll do one of these, right, okay, great. So first let's take this question. Again, if you see A, B, C, we will mark according to our own convenience. You do not have to get confused with A, B, and C's. All you gotta know is you have to stick, you have to stick to the formula. So the formula is half, this time A, C, sine of B. Because sine of B, angle B is what you have. So area equals to half AC sine B. This side is A, this side is C. So area equals to half into 6 into 8 sine 135. 1's are 4's are 6, 4's are 24. So A equals to 24 sine 135. 
let's see what sine 135 is and what do you get uh, when you when you what do you get when you multiply it with 24 so sine 135 gives us 0 0.70 so a equals to 24 times 0 0.70 answer is multiplied by 24 the answer that we get is 16.9 so a equals 16.97 so i'll write it as 17 centimeters square so 17 centimeters square is the area for this particular triangle right pause the video once again and see what happened over here or what did we do over here and uh, then you can move on to further questions Try the other three parts as well, so we know that we are on the right track, right? Okay, let's try another type of question that might come in the examination. Area over here is given to us as 50 centimeters square. Angle over here is not given, so angle is what we require or what we need to find out, right? We'll do everything the same except area we will write as half a b sine c we are writing this as a we are writing this as b and this is c so a is given to us as 50 50 equals to half a is 14 b is 8 sine of x is what we need to find out ones are sevens are so let's see let's figure this out eight times seven is what eight times seven is 56 so 50 equals to 56 sine x 56 goes on the other side becomes 50 over 56 equals to sine of x so 50 divided by 56 is what? 0 0.89 sine of x, sine of x will go to the other side. This will become sine inverse 0 0.89 equals to x. So what is sine inverse 0.89? 62.87 is what we get so 62.87 degree would be your answer for x over here right this is how we do two types of uh, area of a triangle questions try other questions other three questions that are mentioned over here if there are any questions other than this obviously do let us know and we will try to come back as soon as we can also, um, after all of this explanation, I will be doing some past paper questions from IGCSC, uh, CIEs, uh, for uh, trigonometry specifically. So stay tuned and uh, keep watching our videos. Thank you very much. God bless.